hey guys it's taps welcome to this video in this tutorial i want to show you how to convert your static html website to wordpress as a matter of fact elemental wordpress website so you can literally convert those pages to elemental pages so right on my screen here is just a demo html website i downloaded this template free online i just want to use it for experiment purpose so as you can see let's see how we can clone these to elemental my favorite tool for cloning website recently has been clone webex so if you've been following my tutorials recently i've been using this tool a lot so you can uh, come down here. I will leave a link to this tool in the video description. It's a paid tool But you can use this for free too as well So they have a free account that will give you three export per month so you can experiment with the tool And also there is still their launch special offer still going on 30% off and in the video description You would also see my coupon code uh, just in case you want to I invest in this tool It's a fantastic tool I've been using this tool over and over and over and over again in recent times for my cloning project so you can check the video description to see a link here and you can use my coupon code that will give you an amazing discount for you to check out and you can check out create an account here so let me just go to the hub since I have an account here that would bring me to my project and uh, for my project here i have some projects so i just want to create a new project i want to call this project dabs brook i have to put, add a domain name for my project so i will come back to my domain here dabs brook i'll copy this and then i'll paste that here all right so let's create this project all right so inside this project right now i will get a prompt for me to download uh, their chrome extension that's what we'll be using to clone our website i already have this uh extension downloaded but if you click this it will take you to a uh, chrome extension and then you can install that login so you can see it here clone webex so you can add this to chrome i already had this to chrome so it's saying i should remove this from chrome so that's it so now for us to use this chrome extension let's come back to our page here and now if you install that chrome extension you should be able to see this blue icon here before i launch this chrome extension what you should do is for you to scroll through your pages to see that every element on your page is fully loaded just in case there's a lazy load or there's an animation on that page so now once we are sure that the page is fully loaded we can then launch this chrome extension it will ask us to choose a project so we'll choose tabs brook and then i will add this page that's everything i need to do to clone this page as you can see we have this page cloned here already isn't this beautiful so now that we have this page cloned what we want to do now is to migrate this into elementor by my right hand here i have a box here and the first thing on this box is for us to select an element so we should select an element that we want to clone you may just want to select just an aspect of the page or everything on the page or just uh, a part of the page that is possible so we can select the header we can select the body i think we should select the header first and let's see how we can clone this so if you click on that you will see that you have two options here uh, the first is the current selector and also the parent selector the good thing is that if you click on this it will show you exactly what you have cloned so as you can see the header is gone so that's exactly what this element is for so we are going to click this and we're going to continue here we would just uh, come to elementor free so as you can see this tool literally work with elementor pro elementor free uh, webflow bricks and then some other page builders including gutenberg uh, which is fantastic so let's work with elementor free in this tutorial it will require that we install an integration plugin so if you click this it would install that plugin as you can see this is installing here uh, so the next thing we would do right now is to hit the export button 
so right now let's go to our wordpress website where we want to clone this to uh, so i have a wordpress website here so i can just come to plugins i can come to add new uh, let's upload the plugin and then let's bring in a uh, integration plugin here so let's install this fantastic let's activate this plugin so we can see here that the two plugins installed on this website currently is Elementor and it's also this integration plugin. So now let's come to our pages. Let's come to add new. I'll just call this page demo. I also want to change the template. I'll come to Elementor canvas. So I would publish this page and then I will edit this page with Elementor. Okay, great. So we have Elementor loaded here. I will just close this navigator for now. And then I would just right click this and I will paste from other side and I will do Ctrl V. So as you can see here, we have a menu copied here. This is amazing. So while this is loading, let's just continue the clone process. So let's come back here and then let's try to click. So what I like about this is that once you click on this, uh, so you can just toggle this for you to see. So this is not taking anything down. So I'm not using that. So let's toggle this. So this is taking uh, that down and that's beautiful. Ideally, that should have just... Uh, copy the entire page but if you know your way around elements you can inspect this page and then copy the exact element that you want to clone so once in a while like this i've noticed that this tool may not be able to give you the right selector for the entire page so this happened from time to time but let's work with this and sometimes i don't even find this very i find it very easy for us to clone this section by section it makes it more faster so let's export this this has been copied to clipboard and then let's come back here and let's right click this let's paste from other side and let's do ctrl v so as you can see this has copied this twice so we would eventually just delete this off and then we have this and this is good okay so now we can continue so let's come back here let's click this and let's see this all right so that is gone so let's export this let's come back to our page and then let's right click this let's paste from other side and let's do ctrl v okay so um i think the background here is not is not pasting but it's okay we can continue so this is basically how you would do this for every of the element or you can just copy the page entirely uh, but just watch me while i get this done Great, we have all of this copied into this page. Apart from the background color that is not copied, I don't think we have any other problem here. So let's click this to open up this page to see exactly what it looks like when it's full. So this is what this page would look like and this is almost a perfect clone apart from obvious errors here and there like this map is not properly uh, copied. Uh, we can re-embed that. Apart from the background here, I don't really see much of a big deal. And also, we have some alignment issues here. We can correct this inside of Elemental. And I think that's the beauty. That's the beauty of having Elemental so that we can easily make changes here and there to our pages to make them dynamic. That's what it is to it. Sometimes the results are not just perfect. So this is currently the result I am getting using the Elementor free version. I would definitely experiment in my next tutorial with Elementor Pro if I can get a better result using this same template with Elementor Pro. 
I think the next thing I want to do right now is to publish this page and let's update this. So let's see what it will look like in the front end. Updates made and now let's view this page. So that's it. That's the page here. Uh, correction needs to be made here and there. But by and large, it is not a bad clone. So that's it. But in your own case, you can go back to your website. Uh, you can go to other pages and do the same process. Keep and repeat for every of the pages on your website. I believe this is super simple and easy uh, to do. So that's it. You can go experiment with Clone Webex, guys, and let me know the results you get. You can try using the free. Uh, you can invest uh, in the pro. I believe you get value for your money. So that's it. I will see you in another tutorial. Until then, stay safe. Bye for now.